equilibrium without trade that equilibrium without trade is imagine as the isolation textile market is isolated from the rest of the world by government decree no one is isolated is allowed to import or export textiles and the penalty for violating the decree is also large at that no one dare to try because there is no international trade the market for the textile in Iceland consists solely of Icelandian buyers and sellers uh, the domestic price adjusts the balance the quantity supplied by domestic sales and the quantity demand by domestic buyers the figures shows the customer and producer sur surplus in the equilibrium without trade the sum of consumer and producer surplus measure the total of Benef the total of benefit that buyer and seller receive from participating in the textile market. The effects of free trade can be shown by comparing the domestic price of good without trade and the world price of the good. The world price refers to the price that prevails in the world market for that good. Comparative advantage not only affects the production decisions of the trading nations, but it also affects the prices of the goods involved. After trade, the world market price or the price an international consumer must pay to purchase a good. Of both, goods will fall between the opportunity costs of both countries. If a country has a comparative advantage, then the domestic price will be below the world price, and the country will be an exporter of the good. But the good or service has a low opportunity cost for other countries to import. For example, oil producing nations have a comparative advantage in chemicals. Their locally produced oil provides a cheap source of material for the chemicals when compared to countries without it. The winners and losers from trade. I would like to explain about the gains and losses of an exporting country. This figure shows the Icelandian textile market when the domestic equilibrium price before trade is below the world price. On trade is allowed, then domestic price rises to equal the world price, no seller of textiles would accept less than the world price, and no buyer would pay more than the world price. The supply curve shows the quantity of textiles produced domestically, and the demand curve shows the quantity consumed domestically. Exports from Iceland equal the difference between the domestic quantity supplied and the domestic quantity demanded at the world price. Sellers are better off. We can see that the producer surplus rises from C to B plus C plus D and buyers are worse off. We can see that consumer surplus falls from A plus B to A. Total surplus rises by an amount equal to area D, indicating that trade rises the economic well-being of the country as a whole so this analysis of an exporting country yields two conclusions first and second the gains and losses of importing country the gain of import first improving consumer welfare with the import of consumer goods people use goods that cannot be produced domestically. Second, improving the domestic industry. With imports, we have chance to import capital goods. Less technology transfer. Gradually, our country is trying to develop modern technology to reduce backwardness with an already developed nation. 
The losses of import First, writing competition for domestic industry Our industry is not developing due to facing oversized competitors Second, writing unemployment By importing goods from abroad means we don't have to opportunity to produce these goods Less consumerism Excessive consumption, especially for luxury goods, is one of the impacts that can be created from the import of goods. The effects of tariff. The tariff can reduce quantity of imports and move the domestic market closer to its equilibrium without trade. Therefore, we consider the gains and losses from the tariff because tariff rise domestic prices, domestic sellers are better off, domestic buyers are worse off, and also the government increases revenues, so that in measuring these gains and losses, we see changes in consumer surplus, producer surplus, and government income. These changes are summarized in the graph. We find the total surplus in the market decreases by the area D plus F. This fall in total surplus is called the takeaway clause of the tariff. A tariff causes a takeaway clause simply because a tariff is a type of tax. Like most taxes, it distorts incentive and pushes the allocation of scarce resources away from the optimum. Mm-hmm.